Hello and welcome to a new tutorial. I'm Mr. 23 and today I'm going to teach you how to add lights to a car but you can use this method to apply it to all your other needs where you think that you require lights. First thing that we're gonna do is create a new layer but we are going to create it from uh, the menu so press the layer menu new and layer and then choose overlay and check the fill with 50% uh, gray. Now take the brush tool by pressing B and then select the white color and the flow should be around 50%. Um, now we are going to draw on the ground the light reflection here and here. All right. Now we are going to add the lens flare and I'm going to teach you a new method to add the lens flare to your image. So again, layer, new, and from here, just use screen and fill it with black color this time. Now go to filter, render, and from render, choose lens flare. We are going to choose this type of flare. The um, brightness should be around 100. So 105 uh, millimeters prime should be and press OK. We are going to move it to the headlights. Here, as you can see, it has some uh, gradient color left. And for that, we are going to use an adjustment layer levels. We are going to clip this adjustment layer into our lens flare. So hold Alt and click between the layers. And uh, now we are going to lower the colors. So uh, just drag the slider to the right. And if you prefer, you can work with this white slider and move it to the left if you think it's too bright. All right. Now we are going to duplicate this layer. So hold shift and click on both layers and hold alt now and just drag it to the right. Just press Ctrl or Command T to transform it and right click and flip it horizontally. All right, now let's see if we can adjust more uh, the position or the size. I think it's okay. Great. Now, the next thing that we are going to do is uh, to add some colors to our lights. We are going to use again layer new and uh, this time we are going to use color dodge and fill it with black. Choose an orange or a, a red, I prefer something like a uh, light orange and use the brush and be sure that the flow is really really low, somewhere around 3-4% and just paint where you want the color to be. I will um, increase the brush size and I just press once two times on the image. All right, now next thing that we are going to do is add more light to the sides of the car. So just create a new layer and take the polygonal lasso tool and just draw where you think the light beam should be. I think something like that. All right. Now fill this selection with white. Deselect. Right click and uh, convert this to a smart object. And now go to filter, blur gallery and choose fill blur. As you can see, it already has an adjustment here on the center of the image. And uh, we can use this one if we want, but I prefer to set it to zero and click here on the, let's say, top part and uh, choose something like 25% depending on your image size. And here at the end, on the bottom part, I will make this one uh, even brighter. All right, let's click OK. And uh, I think this, of course, is too bright. So we can choose overlay or soft light. I prefer soft light and um, 
we are going to duplicate this layer one way which I, I really love is to hold alt and drag it with the mouse to the other side and then again ctrl or command t and right click and flip it horizontally and drag it where you think it will match the headlight let's add all those layers into a new group so go to the first layer hold shift and click on the last layer and then click on the group icon so until now we have um, this which is before and now we have this one which is after i think those uh, beams of light are too bright so we are going to lower the opacity um, something around uh, 30 percent to both of them okay and let's create a new layer so layer new and choose from here again a uh, screen with a black background and now go to filter render and choose lens flare but this time we are going to use the movie prime and you can play around with the uh, rays of light but i prefer this type so uh, we can drag it again where we want it to be but i want to add some blur to it first i'm going to right click and convert it to a smart object i always use the smart object method because if i apply a filter i can always modify it if i prefer because otherwise if it's not a smart object and you apply a filter you'll see that you cannot modify it later so i choose to convert it in a smart object and then i can play around so now i need some gaussian blur to make this less visible okay we can uh, ctrl t to transform it and you can rotate those rays in a position that you love and also we can duplicate it by holding alt and drag it to the right and of course the same method with ctrl command t and then flip it horizontally and drag it where do you think it matches the best position now let's hide a parts of the rays so this one i want to add a mask so i'll hide um okay the flow is too low let's make it 100 percent and I will uh, hide a part of the ray beams. Now I'll do the same thing to the other one, to the right one. And OK. And of course I can rotate it if I want. Ctrl Command T to transform it and you can rotate it in a position that you love. Also you can do the same thing with the left one. Now let's add more colors to make this more intense. So choose layer new and then let's use overlay this time. Okay. Uh, let's paint with uh, orange a bit. Okay. And then with blue, we can choose uh, to paint with blue around the center of the headlights. and create some beams around let's see the result so this is after and this was the before at the end if you think the uh, lights are too bright you can lower the opacity of the group all right so please leave me a comment if you learned something new today and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel